loved from our love of the ages, our Lord God Almighty. Hope from he who is our living hope, peace from our Prince of Peace, his Messiah. And I welcome you to Baha'i's Praise on Fire and the exalted names of our Almighty who is above and below <laughs> all at the same time. So it's, it's time that we raise our heads to heaven and look upon heaven's brightest light, our star of stars, star of Bethlehem, who is bringing good news of his message for humanity. And it's by tearing down before building back up correctly. Read it for yourself. Jeremiah 1.10, and then he speaks his kingdom age covenant thereof of Jeremiah 31, 33 to 35. So it's time to arise in a newness of understanding. Let the praises therefore of the crescent moon arise and sing together with the praise of Baha'i, Sikhism, Christianity. Let all their praise mingle together for there is no such thing as a false god, just uh, misunderstandings of. And so the truth is there's only one Lord of love, and the word of God is his king of love. That cannot be denied. So it's, it's let now the children of Islam, of Ishmael, play with the children of Isaac, and let them all play together in a sandbox nicely. No more throwing sand. We can all walk in peace on this earth together. But as we raise up our living Lord of creation, our creator, that's going to do good things for our spirits, I guarantee you. And these are the days of the latter day, Daniel, who I am. And the spirit of the Lord has arisen as the good shepherd over all the flocks of man, and the seven trumpet has sounded, and all nations have become the Lord's by his spirit of love which goes before him. He is the beloved, the blessed, and the adored. So it's time that we join together in the unity of understanding that he is love. And I'm looking for my phone. Um, because he is our beloved, the blessed, and the adored, his mercy endures forever because that is what he has for us in this hour. There's only one place in the word of God where it is written, in the latter days, this shall be considered. And it's this topic that I'm telling you about in Jeremiah 31. For God says, I will be your God, you will be my people, I will forgive your iniquity, I shall never remember it, I shall write my law and my love upon your heart. Beyond that, no more shall anyone need to be taught about me, says the living Lord God, unto all mankind, because it was written to all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27, I am the Lord God of Baha'i and Chrislam and Islam and Christianity and Judaism and all the isms or no isms, believers or unbelievers or not, it rains on the just or the unjust. Just because you don't believe something's true does not mean that it is not. And so it is time to raise up he, the splendor of his majesty, our majesty of majesties, Emmanuel, God with us is the translation of his name, whether he was divine or not, I believe so, but we don't have to be at odds about it. Um, so it's time to be forgiving of other people's and tolerant of other people's understandings of deity, because in the long and short of it, it doesn't matter at all. Our righteousness is as filthy right before the transcendent love of our beloved of the ages, who is the beloved, the blessed, and the adored, who is our only, who is the special. It is he alone. For according to the writers of Baha'i writings, by the influence of spirit, our Lord is the treasure of excellence and the excellence of treasures. So come along with me and the voices of Baha'i out into the uh, 
uh, deep. That is where the treasure is, and there also should your heart be. For if you come along with me, the, 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 the tide of new understandings is at hand, and the winds of blessedness can now be at our back, so that we can all shine together as the stars and the wise shell in the days of the latter-day Daniel, in the days of Elijah that have begun. For behold, he arises in the splendor of his magnificence, for he has the finger of holiness, and the, the, the rays thereof are as laser beams of his most resplendent glory, the fire of his uh, refiner's fire, to raise us up from uh, silver unto gold and to platinum. For he alone is the first and the last, the forgiving, the, the generous. He is the one. He is the glorified. He is the, our living continence of joy that is always uh, inside John. And Mickey and Minnie are ever so happy about that because it's been a world of festering tears and fears far too long. So let your perfect love cast out all fear for he is coming forth in this hour to bring us victory of the Lord God Almighty and we need to behold him in the truth of knowing that he is the hand of all divine power the hand of mercy and he who is he who is our heart's desire and he is the heaven of all generosity and all help living help and peril for he is the highest and the last, and, and the last end who can cause the dawn to, to break with the holy of holies. <sighs> the sun of love arising with healing in his wings, beloved. So it's time to get along with that idea. For he is the idea, the ideal king, the, the perfect. He is the... the without flaw, flawlessness incarnate, beauty, our living beauty, the immortal of all immortals, our king of kings, and only he alone knows the key to understanding all end time Bible prophecy. The first is last, the last is first. So welcome into your heart the presence of our almighty God. He is the one that puts the smile in all kindness and that love of any of our love moving in motion as a child, as a verb, because love isn't love until it's being given away. That is our living God living within us for he is the accessible for love, but unto all other than love, he is the inaccessible. He is the incomparable one. He is the, uh, you cannot compare him, for he is the incorruptible, and he is the infinite spirit of blessedness. And the wind of his blessedness comes forth as a mighty gale of goodness for one and all of us to push us along, to propel us, so that we can arise to be the victors of overall victory uh, that he has laid out for us. For he is the living victory in all that is victorious. And for his infinite spirit is the uttermost, the uttermost essence of love and the innermost spirit of forgiveness, the spirit of spirits the invisible of invisibles is he, and he sings over each and every one of us, to Baha'i and to Chrislam and to Islam and to all the other isms, and Christianity and Judaism, he sings over all of us, and singing in silence for those who have their light kept on. For according to his kingdom age word, it is true, he has always written his love and his law upon our hearts. Jeremiah 31, 33 to 35. And these are the days when every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess love who our living Lord God is almighty, our Father of fathers. And he is therefore the King of divine might and he whose arm is not too short 
to be unable to save all of love and praise the Lord always, endlessly, that King of glory and the resplendence of his magnificence, of his beneficence, that only wants to pour out his charity and his beneficent uh, benevolence unto all people that have open arms ready to receive the great ocean. Be ye not uh, shallow as a glass of water. Open up your uh, mind to realize that this is our God, people. He is our king of kings. He is the king of all attributes, of all beautiful, that is all honorable, that is all gorgeous and lovely. He is the altogether lovely of 10,000 million. And he wants to arise with the great inferno of the passion of his love, lighting anew for each and every one of us, loving each other. And he brings that because he is the knower of all things and the knower of all the unseen and the seen. For even before the beginning was, he was the knower of things unseen and the, knowledge, the knower of all knowledge. And God's people, his children, have always been destroyed by lack of knowledge. For there has never been any darkness but ignorance embraced as your pillow alone ignorance alone. So let, lift your lie, eyes up to he who shines as the stars unto our Heavenly Father, our life giver, the living God who has sent the word of God, Isa Yeshua Jesus, to be our Messiah and to, to teach us the ways of God and to walk thereby in love. So it's time to extol and magnify and lift up our Heavenly Father to a, a higher place where our star of Bethlehem shines evermore as his beloved of the ages, his carpenter of the ages. And when he speaks, the rod of his tongue can sharper than a razor, cut a spirit out of a soul, a soul out of a spirit. Within a moment of a moment, I guarantee you. And when the rod of his, his hammer comes down, his tongue aflame with new understandings of unity of truth, unity of love, unity of peace, if we want this world kept in one piece, and with these new understandings so that we can shine as the stars, the veil has been ripped, we no longer have to look through a glass darkly, for he is the revealer of the mystery of God, Revelation 10, 7, that has been revealed at my channel. And he is the Lord of all faiths, the Lord of all names, the Lord of all things, of all worlds, of all bounty, of all creation, of all the earth, heaven, and uh, all things under it and in it. For he is our Lord of lords and the Lord of mankind, the Lord of men, the Lord of revelation. The revelation that he is love unconditional for every one of us that commits not blasphemy of the holy sin. The word of God says all shall be forgiven except the um, unforgivable sin of letting your love light, his light go out. That's letting God go out inside you because your love is him living in you. So praise the Lord and lift up his, his brightest light for when he speaks through his word, it shakes the heaven and has the power of creation in the little words, let it be, and let it be embraced, his praise, in order for this earth to be saved. Mickey and many tired of a world of festering fears and tears, time to let our perfect love cast out fear and walk in the way of love. Talk the talk of love, walk in love, talk about peace, act it out, Start it today. Get out of the land of the walking dead where all our love leaks out our brains because our love is wax cold, where our love is stagnant, unmoving, and dead, ready to be buried. Otherwise, uh, we're looking around for other brains to eat because uh, we let all our love leak out of ours. So turn your eyes evermore unto he that is the Lord of the frequented, the Lord of the glorious, the glorious throne who is the, 
the Lord of the kingdom of heaven which is upon earth, first in our hearts and now it is fully manifesting. For the kingdom age covenant has been given. Uh, the fullness of the prophecy of Hebrews 8 has been fulfilled and it declares and when the kingdom age covenant comes that all faith upon earth is obsolete and that is the fulfilled manifested prophecy of the kingdom age which begins the era of the golden age the era of love come alive so Praise ye the Lord, all ye people of love, and lift him up with the fire of your tongue, the passion of your hearts. Let fervency be your rule, for he alone is the Lord of wealth, the, the Most High, our beloved, uh, loved of the ages, who is our loving always, and our King of always. For he alone is our luminary of all things, blessed and therefore he arises in this hour as our majesty and our majesty of majesties his word takes about as his ref uh, mirror image his exact likeness uh, Emmanuel coming again God in the flesh with us again soon and extol him and lift him up all ye people for he is the sovereign ruler the manifest the merciful, the mercy, the mighty. He is the monarch of monarchs, the king and the judge of all judges. He is love and he comes this way. Bountiful is the abundance of his truth, overflowing, pressed together. Can you receive an ocean of his honesty, people? For he alone is the most exalted. He is the generous and our beauty of passion the beauty of light. He is our living illumination who will show us the way. For he is our most high, most holy, most manifest, most merciful God Almighty. And Isa Yeshua Jesus is his, his lightning and thunder come alive with the living bread of his word overflowing. Love, love, love. And love always wins for he is reflecting the most brilliant light of he that is the most powerful he that is the mover of all being the mover of all things magnificent and uh, he is the source of all mysticism revealed to be not so scary after all and when you get that going into your spirit and you listen to the blessedness that Baha'i is singing to the earth. Man, I'm with that crowd and I'm with every crowd that will magnify the Lord. Everybody wants to magnify him separately, but no one wants to magnify him together. I think that's a little bit hypocrite. I can't say it. Don't be a hypocrite time to love each other because if we can't love those who we can't see how the hell are you going to love some a god that you cannot see get real get with the program of love in motion to burn as a passion of an inferno of his love burning within us it is written that if people are just lukewarm he would like to vomit them out of his mouth he wants people passionate, and it's time. Who will feed the master's household meat while the master is away? Christ told that riddle in uh, Matthew 24. Behold, Elijah, who restores all things, am I the latter-day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13. I am the Shiloh alcoholic, Genesis 49, 12, one whose eyes are dull and red of wine, and because I have come, the scepter of all uh, authority on heaven and earth has come into my hand by that verse. Read it, Genesis 49, 12, the alcohol of the vision of God. And I tell you truly, 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 that the glory of God shall now cover the earth as waters cover the sea, as grass covers the land, as sands cover the most desolate of deserts and lilies covering ponds, because 
the right preacher with the right message, with his message, has come to prepare his way. Malachi 3, 1. And he says, I will be your God. You will be my people. I have forgiven your iniquities, and I shall never remember it. Sending Satan to the pit for a thousand years. How good does it get?